haven't been to the beach in a while, so I'm gonna head to North Padre Island National Seashore. I've been to North Padre before and I featured it on this channel, but the seashore actually goes 60 miles. It's a, one of the largest barrier islands in the world, I think the largest. It's all part of the National Park Service. It's called Padre Island National Seashore. And you're allowed to drive for the entire length of that. I've never been that far out and I've always been curious, wanted to check it out. You know, you can ideally go 60 miles off pavement uh, with no other way to get there other than driving on the beach or, you know, by boat or air. But I've got the M1102 in tow with the rooftop, with this rooftop tent. I think I've got everything I need for a night of camping alone. So we'll see how this goes. Guess they're still open. I was worried I was, it was too late. It's past. It said it closed at five, but apparently not. Hopefully my uh, annual pass works. Hi. Howdy. How are you? Not bad. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Right on. Does uh, the annual pass work at the seashore? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm awesome. Part of the National Park Service, so. Awesome. Definitely. Assuming it's not expired, nope, you got until the end of next month. Do you need, uh, I guess it doesn't have my name on it. Got the tide posted here. Having that tide information is really handy. You don't want to, at least good to know when, when high tide will be and low tide. The tires have a much bigger footprint now. Should give it some added traction in the sand. There's the final pressures that I aired down to. I didn't want to go too far down considering how much this truck weighs, but this will definitely help in the sand. marker 5 which has the warning sign uh, that says four-wheel drive high clearance vehicles only I still see quite a few vehicles past the sign
just past mile marker 10 and close to where I want to stop here. Oh, I'm not sure what is that thing on fire? Interesting. The log is burning. If it were nighttime, you could see it. I am just past where the map on Gaia GPS says Little Shell, which is supposed to be Little Shell Beach. I don't see any shells. Well, I'm not exactly 50 miles in, but uh, I think this will have to do. Need to start setting up camp. 13.6 miles from the beginning of the sand, the end of the pavement, so. I'm facing back towards the north, towards the north. Having a hell of a time getting this fire started. Usually these dura flames light right up, but not today. I guess it's just too wet, too windy. I'm gonna cheat a little, just a little. Well, son of a A few moments later. All right, now that's a fire. Is cool about the sea breeze is it sure fans the uh, fire once you get it going. Taking the water a little longer to boil than it usually takes it. See the wind still getting in there. Let's see what it looks like. It's right up food. See the uh, the air is so close to the dew point that well everything's wet. That's how much moisture is in this air.
Not too bad, I mean, good survival food. It is definitely out. winds are just really bad it's uh, shaking the trailer it was okay I mean it was the usual wind until about 12 30 1 o'clock and then it just it kicked on a whole other level I think these are probably 25 to 35 just when I think it's you know just where I'm going back to sleep another gust comes and startles me or wakes me it's about 3 a.m. haven't been sleeping too well what can you do You're already here it doesn't it's not like it's gonna destroy anything I mean everything outside's still there there's no storm or anything it's just just winds straight winds Blowing it off the Gulf. We'll try to get some shut eye. Let's go explore more of this beach, shall we? Just before mile post 15, there's a a four by a four wheel drive road that goes west called Yar Yarborough Pass and it takes you over to the Laguna Madre side so we'll see if that's passable right now well here's mile 
Post 15. Okay, here we go. Starts out as deep sand, but now it's pretty much just like a dirt road. Very primitive dirt road. Nice, quiet little spot. Kind of smells on this side. It's like decaying organic matter. <laughs> Don't have an ocean. You, you get used to the ocean, the sea breeze. Like there would have been room for me to turn around after all. This is the tip. Laguna Madre. is a lot different here. It's not as uh, long and flat anymore. You can see right around here there's a drop and that's where the waves are breaking. much more pristine. Uh, the beach is different. I'll finally get a chance to head down to Mansfield Pass. But hope you enjoyed this little adventure. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of the next motoring adventure. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>